Right, these are two VFDs. This one here is three phase to three phase. It's a big industrial unit. It's 2.2 kilowatts. So 2.2 kilowatts, 400 volts in, 2.2 kilowatts, 400 volts out, and it will vary the frequency it's used for driving big industrial motors, particularly the motors that you find on chairlifts, which is where it came from. This one is a little Chinese VFD. It takes single phase 240 volts in, puts out variable three phase 380 by 400 volts out. It is also 2.2 kilowatts. The price of VFDs and the size of VFDs has come down significantly. However, I don't trust this to put out a proper two point. I don't trust it to run at 2.2 kilowatts. Kilowatt and a half, probably. 2.2 kilowatts is not going to be long for this world. Uh, there is a significant difference in size of components in these two in these two in these two devices. Now, why am I talking about this? Well, yesterday on uh, the dirty dirty workshop garage guys channel, Matt Hudson what used to be the workshop, there was a brief discussion of VFDs. I'm going to, have to zoom in on this piece of paper because we're going to need this in a bit. Zoom, master of zoom. So, uh, Matt was talking about his new workshop, which has three phase, and um, he said that he would happily switch out uh, three phase for a toilet. Um, or was it the other way around? can't remember. Um, and somebody made the comment that a VFD can, uh, can, can create three phase from single phase. And so, yeah, he could, uh, he could happily have a toilet. Um, Matt was rather disparaging about VFDs. He, yeah, I think he's got some misconceptions about them. So I'd like to, I'd like to go over um, I'd like to go over what those misconceptions are. Now, first of all, we need to know what a VFD is, what it does, and how it does it. So, um, a VFD takes in, uh, we still in frame? I uh, don't know why I moved that, it's a bit stupid really. Um, a VFD takes in an alternating current signal. So, alternating current. So that's AC. It might be single phase, it might be three phase. For our purposes, we're going to say it's single phase, one phase, and we're going to talk about uh, home workshop stuff that runs off standard mains, so that is 240 volts in Europe, more or less. Might be 220, might be 230, who knows. But nominally, probably 240 volts. That's 240 volts RMS, uh, root mean square, which means that the peak voltage is about 340 volts. Now, your VFD takes that, goes through, I don't know why I put a Wheatstone bridge in there, that's not what I meant to do, but you get the idea go through a full, bro a full bridge rectifier that turns your and also some capacitors and that turns this into DC 340 volts or thereabouts and then it takes that through a microcontroller and some transistors and it turns it into, again for our purposes,
three phase. So we have a phase at zero degrees, a phase at 120 degrees, and phase at 240 degrees. So we're back into AC, three phase, and it might be 240 volts, it might be 400, uh, 400 volts. That is what a VFD does. That's what that VFD does. It, put, it takes in 240 volts, puts out 400 volts. So, Matt is absolutely, absolutely correct when he says that a single phase motor is gutless compared to the three phase equivalent power for power. Um, yeah, absolutely bang on. Um, it's all to do with the way that uh, the way that the power is delivered. Um, it's like the difference in power delivery. Power delivery over three phases is much smoother. Um, it's like the, the delivery of a you know a, a 500cc single single pot uh, trail bike compared to a 500cc four-stroke four-cylinder inline motor or V4. Um, the, the power delivery is, is there's no, no comparison really. Um, however, his misconception is that a VFD is going to take a three phase motor and uh, convert it somehow into a single phase motor. And in fact, it's the other way around. Um, a VFD takes a single phase input and turns it into a three phase output. Now, that waveform might not be absolutely perfect because it's done by digital means. It's done by, uh, so you've got, you've got this kind of high frequency switching noise over the top of it um, that some motors don't like very much. And there are some other downsides to, to BFDs. Um, but basically a 2.2 kilowatt VFD will drive a 2.2 kilowatt three-phase motor as a 2.2 kilowatt three-phase motor and there's no difference effectively between having your VFD that puts out 400 volts and just plugging it into a 400 volt three-phase output except there are some benefits and some downsides to the VFD um, so if we're, if we're looking at 2.2 kilowatts so 2.2 kilowatt motor on here to get 2.2 kilowatts you're looking at 5 amps per phase that's what you're putting out and to get that in you need at least 2.2 kilowatts coming in it's probably close to 2.53 so what you're getting here is a draw of 10 to 15 amps on your input and this is the second thing that Matt was saying which he's absolutely correct on is that if he's got a big old Huron mill with an 8 kilowatt motor um, he's not going to be able to run it off single phase oh, no he's not because um, he's going to need an awful lot of current um, 8 kilowatts is uh, you're looking at 40 to 50 amps basically it's um, that's uh, that's going to be a lot of um, a lot of power going in and that's why you, you actually don't find single phase VFDs that can that can drive that kind of that kind of load I think you can get them up to about seven kilowatts but uh, again Chinese I wouldn't trust it above about five um, that doesn't mean that a VFD wouldn't be a good solution for Matt it's just that he, what he would want is a three phase to three phase VFD and he can use the the V part of the frequency drive variable frequency and you don't have to piss about changing belts um so yeah that's uh that's what uh that's what vfds do and kind of how they do it um yeah enough blast i'm gonna go to the workshop and do some work